Good morning, good morning, welcome to my channel. Today is day 98, guys. Sorry I haven't been on, but oh, I've just had so much trouble with my body, mainly my back. And um, I thought I'll just come on and do day 98 and show you that it is, oops, oopsie, 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 it doesn't matter. All that can be reinforced. This is quite cute. And what I was thinking, guys, I might, for day 98 of the 100-day challenge, um, is decorate that front and get it ready. And I'm going to use one of these envelopes. I love them. Um, I'm going to have to reinforce it because I tore it wrong. That's typical me when I do that. You know, I open the mail. Or somebody else opens them up, but I still think they're quite usable. So I prefer to tear it with a ruler. Um, I just don't know where it is. Where's my ruler? Here it is, right in front of me, guys. Right in front of me. I left glues open and everything, right? Um, that's easily fixed. And what we're going to do. We're going to put something there. Um, you can put something colourful, which I like to do sometimes, but I'm not that stressed. And I normally want something that's going to fit in it, right, properly. So we're just going to put a book page. You know, not stress it out. Because the, the thing is, when we're playing with paper, I feel like we do stress things out. Once I've reinforced that, I will because I like pockets in my front, you know, or tuck spots or whatever it may be. Um I'm going to tear it. I love that blue, right? Tear it. And I'm going to try and glue that in to the back. So I'm going to get a glue stick. No overthinking because you know what? When you overthink, guys, you're not going to scrap, right? I do need a scrap piece of paper and I haven't got one near me doesn't matter i'm just going to glue and the glue is just being terrible anyway i hope you are all well um i'm just checking to see how much i've got a glue not really all of it but some of it doesn't have to be glued yet and I try when I do this to sort of bend it a little and bend the envelope to fix it, to fix what I did wrong. You'll notice the glue is to the back. I will drag it in. And there you go. Whoops. Move it over. Oh, there. There you go. Like so. That might be a little bit big. And that's when I do a little bit of trimming. Before I glue the rest of it down. And I've just reinforced it. Right? I just don't stress things out, guys. You know, when you're playing with paper, the worst thing to do is stress things out. I find the glue stick works really well. Now I'm just going to go in there and make sure that, oh, what have I done there? No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I think I can. I didn't want that glued. Yeah, that's all right. And then I go like so, like so, and we've reinforced it. 
and that's all we need to do. And it's good. Because I like pockets in mine. But anyway, like I was saying, I hope you're well. Then I'm going to get that paper and a sponge. And we're going to... Because I like to get um, the front of my journal um, decorated before Junk Journal July starts. And all I do is I ink it and just give it a bit of colour. I'm not stressed if it's white, okay? Um, and that's the thing, you don't stress it out. I have used envelopes for a long time, guys, and I love the look of them. I really do. Like so, like so. Just to get a little bit off that white off. I'm not worried about the back because that will be glued down. And I like to just give that a little bit of. And we've got a pocket. Like, this is simple. Like, absolutely simple. And then we can glue it down. And I'm going to glue that all down. And what I want to do is get that ink. And I just want to ink the outside a little bit of this. And I want that showing. Anything else I'm not worried about. Like so. Glue it down. And then we're going to decorate. This is just a simple project, guys. And we've got the front of our journal created. I wanted that to show. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because we can always layer something else down. Yeah, I can't believe it. I left. Let's see if it's working. I, it Maybe it won't. No, I've got to wash the nozzle. No, it won't go through. Naughty, naughty genie. I'll leave it out because I'll have to wash that nozzle. And we're going to glue this down. Not thinking about it. Just give it a good glue. Yeah, um, it's pretty cold, but we've had some sunny days, guys. So I can't complain about that. I still haven't got a fire in here. Trying to get the plumber out here is a bit like much. Um, doing revamps to the kitchen too, you know, and that's just at the moment a bit much. And I'm going to put that like so, right in the centre. And I've just created a nice pocket. Now, um, like I said, I'm keeping this simple. I will put some texture there, but I also want to put... Um, oh, that one. So we're going to fussy cut this. No, I just think this is gorgeous. This is actually more gorgeous. But I like the pink in this one. So we're going to cut this. Fussing cutting is easy, guys, if you don't overthink it. You know, if you use a pair of scissors, they are sharp. Now, this is Daphne's diary. I'm keeping everything flat, guys, because I just figure when you're doing the 100-day project, you, um, and especially if you're using accordion journal, it can't be chunky monkey like my junk journal January that I showed you yesterday. I'm so looking forward to junk journal July. Like I said, I've got two more days of the 100-day project. On day 100, we will go through some of the processes that we did. Um, and we did lots. Um, you know, to refresh our memories. Uh, I'm a bit fussy with my fussy cuts, guys. 
um, especially when it's going in the front of my journal. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's been fun, junk, uh, the 100 day project, and I will do it again next year. The beauty of the 100 day project, guys, it keeps you focused on crafting every day. I've had lots of bumps along the way, you know, with my back, um, but I've tried not to get too behind. I'm probably two weeks behind everybody else. But you know what? Doesn't matter. The the thing is, it's when you do prompts and the hundred day project. What you're actually doing is creating every day. You know that's what it's all about. Not losing your mojo. You are looking after your soul. I say this time and time again: feed your soul. Do things for yourself because that's what the hundred day project is about. You know, feeding your soul. I'm going to get in there and get all those munchy bits out because I can't stand them. But, yeah, feed that soul by creating. Whoops, got a bit close. Because I want a fussy cut. I like fussy cut images. And especially, I like to do it a lot fine and refined when it's going here it's going to look cute and then we're going to decorate the envelope i don't know i might use some washi i don't know what i got there i've got a container of washi that i never use because as you know i tend to use paper for my elements in washi but really i've got to learn to use the washi up because you know it's wasteful But yeah, for the prompts, I'm going to use um, my magazines, you know, and stuff like that for Junk Journal July. Um, junk Journal um, January, I think I did the same thing. I used digitals. Um, the 100 Day Project, we used everything. We used magazines. We used digitals. We used um, printing on fabric. We used all sorts of stuff. And the beauty of doing it that way, guys, um, utilising everything you've got around the home, which is I didn't go and buy anything that I didn't need because I already had it here. You know, I haven't spent money on crafts. I tend to spend it on other stuff these days, you know, things for the house and whatnot. Okay. I want to clean up just in here. And the beauty of this one, I can actually go in and around and clean up my fussy cut. It's probably, um, like I said, I don't wanna do big a big video. There you go, I've cleaned it up. And it's figuring out where I want it, you know? And I figure if I put something there to no, I don't want that one. I want my old book page. I love this old book page. And we're going to tear it. So we're going to start with that. Actually, tear it some more. Because I want to hide that writing, right? I might utilise that there. Just... And I'm just going to use um, my glue, this glue, because I can't be bothered mucking around too much. Black salt. And I might get a bit of washi. You know, um, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to turn it around that way. Take advantage of nice writing, you know, when you use book pages. Um, that's what I tend to do. Look at that chapter. Oh, I like. I like that. I'm going to place that there. And...
I had a thing that said journal that I wanted to place down, but I don't know where I what I did with it. I had it the other day when we were doing the other one. You know, when your desk is in a mess like mine, guys, you're going to have a problem looking for things or finding things and whatnot. Oh, I don't know. And I really wanted that, but anyway. Let's glue this down without overthinking and then maybe I might see it. And we might be able to brighten the page with something else if I can't find it. I really wanted it because I just want the word journal on my um, junk journal. Because like, it's a daily, guys. It's daily prompts. You don't have to spend more than 10 to 15 minutes on it. Um... The prompts start out pretty easy and then they get um, a little bit harder, but not by much. But if you watch um, the collaboration of the different people that um, put their work up, then you'll be able to um, follow them or myself. You know, I'm normally a day early because... Um, I'm in Australia, as you all know. Oh, that looks so cool. I just find a bit of, um, what should I think? Oh, I don't know. I just want that journal. I want to have that journal. Oh, no. It might have fell up to the floor, you know, for all I know. Um, let's have a look at my washi. We'll put that like so. Do it up. Because I'll walk away, guys, and I probably won't put it on. I'll forget, you know. Uh, where's my washer container? Here it is. Uh, and I like colour. Let's see what's got washer in here. Uh, and I'll just keep it simple. Isn't that cute? I don't know whose washies these are from. Um, oh, I just got to find the part. This is the problem with washi. I've got to find the part. And because it's so cold in here, um, what ends up happening, it seals to itself. Oh, I got a little bit off. Oh. Okay. Or maybe like so. I might get a... Oh, no. Sh I might put a bit of glue on it. You notice I'm using the fabric glue, guys. Like I said, I... Um, had an accident with the other one by leaving it open. But it'll clear... It'll, I'll clean it up and it'll be okay. I'm going to go like so. Oh. I just can't. My hands are so cold. They just... There. Um, when I've got the word journal there, it's going to look good. I might get a bit of stamping happening. And that's the way to break up the white. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to find the other journal, no, so journal I've got, so I can show you that there is many ways of doing it. I'm going to put more washi down. Um, but I just didn't want to wa waste washi there, you know, because I don't need it there, guys. I better glue it. I don't know. Sometimes washi, no matter how expensive it is, it doesn't goo down. So I tend to put a bit of glue. Normally, a glue stick is just helpful. You know what I mean? Oops, I went too far again. Oh, why am I having issues? Just my hands are cold. Oops there okay a bit of stamping we'll fix that do 
just to break it up, guys. And see how you have created some sort of texture. And then um, find a nice journal card to put in. Um, let's see. I made a journal card the other day. Let's see where it is. This little girl. Can it go in that way? And that can go. This really belongs to the other journal, but it doesn't matter. Like so. I like it. I like it. And if I can find that journal, I guess you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Um, I'll probably pile it up into my stuff. I don't know. And what I want to do I want to add yeah maybe one a bit wider a little bit wider not too much but oh, plenty here guys remember we made a few um Let's see what I got. So if you go back to all my videos, you'll be able to see. I still think that one, I think. I think. And we are going to complete the other journals that we started. Um, I still want to make my journals of ideas. I'll just check. Ooh, just check. I want to have... No, I don't like that one. And this then becomes the opening of my journal. Um, I'm just going to cut a little bit because we don't need much. You can staple this on, guys. Uh, there's my stapler. Um... Even that's gone walkabouts, guys. Oh, well, we're glowing. We're glowing. Like I said, I've basically overthought this. But, you know, I'm not in the right forum to craft. But anyway, I want it to do some... I'm going to do it this way. Like so. And I'm going to just bring it in. I might sew over it, actually. And I've still got room. And that's the start of my journal, the Junk Journal July. Um, like I said, when I find my um, thing that says journal, I'll be able to put it on. I'll we'll just have a quick look here. I have got it here somewhere. I mean, I used it the other I was looking at it the other day. To use it in another journal. Let's see what we've got here that we can utilise. I love these Tim Holtz bits, guys. I bought these not long ago and I love them, love them. And they're in um, printed vellum. Just seeing if it's here. I'll use that. You know, I just chuck things about and I don't um, half the time notice what I'm doing. You know, I just pile things on top of each other. Because when you're doing a big project like John Journal, a uh, 100-day project, it's really hard to sort of, oh, I love that book page, um, keep your desk tidy. I mean, it's really hard to keep your desk tidy any other time. You know what I mean? So when you go through your book pages, start cutting things out like this because these are going to be your best friends. And these are all cut out from Daphne's diary. Um, I'll show you for those who don't know. I'll bring one out. Let's have a look. Um, there you go there. 
Japanese diary. And you just go through it, guys, and just cut out. Cut out stuff. Look, you've got beautiful pictures. And these are excellent for dailies. You know, if you want to make a daily, these are excellent. You can cut things like this out. And it's fun. I haven't touched this one yet. But anyway, hopefully I haven't bored you. But this is the start of the first, um, doing the cover for my um, junk journal, um, July. But we've got it going, guys. And we can put a large tag there if we want. But I know that for me, this cannot be bulky. It just can't. And I guess if you're doing this um, too, make sure you don't make it bulky. I might put a bit of blue somewhere. I've just seen that blue and I love blue, guys. And when I see blue, I tend to put it down. Um, I like all colours, but blue is my favourite, right? See, this was supposed to be finished, but... Like I said, I do want to um, I might go like so. There you go. Because it's printed on vellum. Look at that. Anyway, guys, I've chatted enough and I want to keep my video short. Like I said, the longest one will be the last day of the 100-day project because we're going to go through all the things we made. Well, not all things, but some of the things we made we made lots but it'll just um highlight to you how much fun it is to junk journal every day thanks guys have a lovely day bye for now